Yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Bright and early in the morning, and we're at Home Depot because the heater went out in the shop, so we need a new heater, but this heater is also gonna double as the heater for our new powder coating oven. We're excited, we'll see you in a minute. These are electric. Right here, here's a rigid brushless. But the ones I've been seeing were Mr. Heaters. See right here, LP Forest Heater 60 BTU, but they're, which one is that? Because that one's only 100. That's the rigid hybrid. See, they've got some more that are only 100. Let's see, they've got to have some more. This is propane too. Yes. And they're cheaper. Yeah, but they're not. We need a forced air. See, here's a Mr. Heater, but this isn't the forced air one either. Like this, where it's which got a blower behind it. Uh, that lights from there and it heats up. Oh, it, sorry, yeah, it heats up infrared. Blow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, what's up, everybody? So, last time you saw us, we were just at Home Depot, and Home Depot didn't have what we needed, they were sold out. Of course. So we went ahead and hit Lowe's. Lowe's was sold out as well. So the first thing I did while at Lowe's was go online and see if I could find them. I had been finding them on Facebook Marketplace. Well, I turned around and there was, of course, have been none the last few days on Facebook Marketplace. I jumped on there and sure enough, there was one that had been posted from a few days, about a week ago in Commerce City, about 15 minutes from me. And instead of a 30 to 60,000 BTU for a hundred dollars, we actually, it's a 70 to 125,000 BTU right back here, Mr. Heater with the electric start, uh, electric auto start, which is perfect. So all we have to do is when the solenoid gets here, go ahead and swap out the, the push button start in there, swap that out with the solenoid and we then hook the solenoid up to the PID controller with the heat sink and the thermal couple. And then we can go ahead and set the temperature that we want it at and it will go ahead and kick on the heater on and raise the temperature up to what we need it. And then if it starts to fall below it, it'll kick it back on and then it will automatically turn off. So this is the functions that we need to make the bigger powder coating of it. All the parts are ordered, they're on the way and sorry i'm trying to drive as well but all the parts are ordered they're on the way they will be arriving here sometime on saturday night the saturday before nine o'clock at night the plan is to go ahead and get this heater fired up get it working so we have warmth in the shop since our other heater bit the dust and start building the frame for the new oven we've got here and over here we've got the metal to go ahead and start framing up what is going to be our powder coating oven i'm very excited about this Powder coating is something that I love to do. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I like to make things come to life. It's also going to be a pinnacle of what makes extra cash to go ahead and keep this build going. So I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be great content. I hope you all follow along. Remember, if you like videos like this, smash that subscribe button down below so you can go ahead and give us a follow. If you want notifications, you can click on the little bell to receive notifications. That way you're alerted when we upload new content. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and somehow, some way, it allows people, more people to see our videos. Also, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do me a favor, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section down below. We read and reply to all of our comments. Of course, as long as they're within uh, the realm and spec of what we're doing. I also want to go ahead and give a shout out to Martin. Martin, I believe, Bela. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Martin is a Patreon of ours. Martin is supporting the channel through Patreon, which is the first link down in the description. We do appreciate your support, Martin. Anybody else that wants to become a patron, go ahead and check down at the link below. You also get entries into the Honda Accord build that we're doing, the G23 Frankenstein, AKA the Franken Accord. We're gonna be giving that away once we get it done. We've got more videos coming with that, but first, we really want to get the powder coating oven going. First, starting off with the oven, I'm going to build the base and the walls. We're not going to necessarily need a floor. There's a couple of powder coaters that I know that's a concrete floor. It's perfectly sufficient. 
it will be just fine. That's gonna save some money by not doing the floor. We're gonna go ahead and decide the length and the height. Then we'll start putting these studs together, start building the frame of it. We're going to rivet everything together with a hydraulic, uh, air, air pneumatic hydraulic or whatever rivet gun that we got from Harbor Freight. That way the expansion and contraction doesn't make the holes bigger where screws are and it makes screws fall out. So riveting it together is gonna help it to withstand the heat. We're gonna jump to this. I'm gonna get you a time lapse. As it's coming together, I'll come through and let you know what's going on. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Today I got done with the walls, at least the two outer shells. So basically, I am gonna put some studs in between here. First, I wanna measure how wide the insulation is. I believe it's actually 24 inches. So there'll be two or three studs that are gonna go here in each wall. I do have those right down there. I am going to need a few more to finish everything off. But basically, what I was, the plan to do is to get the metal, the sheet metal that's gonna go on the inside. So we'll put the studs, put the sheet metal on it. What we're gonna use for the top is actually going to make it a dome. So we get a little bit more clearance, it's a little bit taller. Then we'll go ahead, once we have those two sheeted up, we'll put the domes on it and then build the back and the front door and it'll be ready to go. Again, no need to do anything for the bottom because the concrete's gonna be perfectly fine. For or keeping in the heat. Really, it's not much more than a day's worth of work. The biggest thing right now is first I have to measure the car. The metal will fit in the car, and if it does, then it's just gonna take two of us to load it up. We're gonna probably have to take two trips because I don't think all three window wells are gonna go ahead and fit in the car along with the metal, so we're gonna have to do some more measurements there. Everything else is coming in the mail and Amazon. It's gonna be here in a couple of days. We'll get this oven going. I've got a lot of jobs already lined up. Super stoked about all of this. Hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and smash the subscribe button down below. Also give the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm so more people can see our video. Also commenting as well if you have any thoughts, ideas, or you just want to leave your opinion. Go ahead and do that in the comment section down below. That too also helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to become like Martin and be a Patreon to the channel and to the build, go ahead and click the first link down in the description. It's our Patreon link. We appreciate the support and until tomorrow, yeah, yeah.